Listen up, because I'm about to save you from wasting your time, money, and sanity. Years of academy training wasted. Work from home job scams are everywhere and they're getting smarter day by day. And I've seen countless people lose everything because they didn't know what to look for. And these aren't just minor setbacks. We're talking about drained bank accounts and crushed dreams. But once you know what to look for, you'll be untouchable. And this information is gold and it could make or break your remote work future. So let's go ahead and dive in. The first one we're gonna cover is the upfront fee scam. So picture this, you found your dream remote job, but there's a catch. They want you to pay first. Where is my money? Red alert, folks. Legitimate companies don't ask you to pay for the privilege of working for them. If you hear anything about training fees or equipment costs or my personal favorite, certification expenses, run for the hills. Now, a real life example of this is in 2020, the FTC actually sued Moda Latina, a company that targeted Latina consumers with work from home opportunities. Now the catch, there was an upfront fee for a starter kit. Spoiler alert, there was no real job. Now let's talk about how to protect yourself from this scam. First things first, never pay to start a job. If they're asking you for money upfront, that's your cue to walk away. No, 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 no. Next, do your homework. Research the company thoroughly before you even think about applying. And lastly, check the Better Business Bureau and FTC websites for complaints. And on top of that, checking Glassdoor can be a good idea as well. A quick search could save you from a world of trouble. Now, if you found this advice helpful so far, smash that like button like you're crushing these job scams. But hold on to your seats because the next scam is even sneakier. And that is going to be the overpayment scheme. Now, this one is more subtle than a chameleon and a bag of Skittles. The company sends you a big fat check and asks you to wire back the difference. Does that sound fishy? Well, it should, because that check is gonna bounce faster than a kangaroo on a trampoline. And they're gonna leave you on the hook for the money that you wired. Ouch. Now here's how to avoid falling into this trap. First and foremost, never agree to return part of a payment. It's a massive red flag. And if you do receive a check, wait for it to fully clear before taking any action. And I mean fully cleared, which can take weeks sometimes. And also always keep in mind, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Trust your gut on this one. Now, by the way, if you're tired of sifting through sketchy job listings, it might be time for you to level up your skills. Take David, for example. After six years as a commission-based resale rep, he transitioned into digital marketing and now earns over $80,000 a year. And I've linked the digital marketing masterclass that helped him get there down in the description in the pinned comment below. So definitely click down there and check it out. And it's a solid way to future-proof your career. Now let's move on to a scam that could cost you more than just money. It could cost you your identity. And that is the personal information phishing scam. And identity thieves are getting craftier than a Pinterest board full of do-it-yourself projects. They're creating fake job applications to steal your personal data faster than you can say social security number. And if a company is asking for sensitive information before you've even had an interview, that is a major red flag. So you want to guard your personal information like a dragon guards its goal. Be stingy with it. So one thing you can do is use a separate email for job hunting. This way, if scammers get a hold of that email, they won't have access to your entire digital life. Next, never provide your social security number or financial info until you verified the job offer. I'm talking about signed a contract and thoroughly vetted the company. Speaking of protecting your info, I'm actually curious if anyone out there has ever had a close call with a job scam. If you have, drop a comment below and share your story. Your experience might just save someone else from falling for the same trap. And trust me, people need that wisdom because these scammers are getting craftier by the day. In fact, our next scam is an oldie but a goodie with a sneaky remote work related twist. And that is the pyramid scheme in remote work clothing. Yes, the old pyramid scheme. It's like that one relative who always shows up uninvited to family gatherings. But now it's disguising itself as a remote work opportunity. So if the job focuses more on recruiting others than actual work and it promises income that sounds too good to be true, plus you have to pay up front front, you're probably looking at a pyramid scheme. Now, a real life example of this is in 2021, the FTC shut down Success by Health, which was a multi-level marketing company that promised participants could earn financial freedom through selling coffee and other products from home. Spoiler, most people lose money faster than you can brew a cup of coffee. Now, here's how to spot and avoid these schemes. First, be wary of opportunities that focus heavily on recruitment. If they're more interested in you bringing in new people than doing actual work, run. Then do your due diligence. Research the company's business model thoroughly, and if it doesn't make sense, it's probably nonsense. And lastly, when you're calculating potential earnings, focus on product sales, not recruitment. If the math doesn't add up, neither does the opportunity. Now let's talk about a scam that's all about putting on a false face. And that is the impersonation scam. And these scammers are the chameleons of the remote job world because they pretend to be well-known companies to lure in unsuspecting job seekers. They might use logos and 
language from the real companies, but their email addresses and unprofessional communication tend to give them away. So here's how to unmask these imposters. First, you always want to verify the company's contact information independently. Don't just trust what's in the email. Second, pay close attention to the email domain. Legitimate companies use their own domains, not Gmail or Hotmail. Lastly, when in doubt, go straight to the source. Contact the real company directly to verify the job posting. So yeah, this one is incredibly insidious and the next one is more subtle and that's going to be the job description bait and switch. All right, folks, imagine this. You apply for a dream job as a remote marketing specialist, but suddenly you're being interviewed for a commission only sales rep position. What gives? I'm oh, sorry, what now? This, my friends, is the classic job description bait and switch. These tricksters lure you in with an attractive job posting, then they try to push you into a completely different and often less desirable role. You know, this whole bait and switch thing reminds me of when I was younger and I thought I was going to college on a football scholarship. But here's the thing, it's not about the curveball that life throws at you, it's about how you adapt that matters. Speaking of adapting, here's how to protect yourself from this sneaky job description tactic. So a way to protect yourself is throughout the interview process, keep referring back to the original job description. It's your anchor in this sea of deception. And if the job suddenly changes, don't be afraid to speak up or even walk away. You're in control of your career path. And then also just trust your gut. If something feels off, it probably is, and your instincts are your first line of defense. Now let's talk about a scam that tries to empty your wallet before you even start working. And this is the pay for training program scam. Now here's a doozy for you. A company offers you a fantastic remote job opportunity, but there's just one tiny catch. You need to pay for their exclusive training first program. Program. Now, let me tell you straight, legitimate companies invest in training their employees, not the other way around. And a real life example of this is in 2018, the FTC cracked down on Bob Robinson LLC, also known as Work at Home EDU. And they cracked down for charging consumers hundreds of dollars for a work from home program that didn't deliver on its promises. Now, here's how to protect yourself from this wallet draining scam. First, be extremely skeptical of any job that requires you to pay for training. It's a major red flag. Next, do your homework. Research the company thoroughly and look for reviews from past employees. Their experiences can be very telling. And then remember, your skills and time are valuable, so you shouldn't have to pay to prove your worth to an employer. Now, our next scam is all about getting your personal information under false pretenses. And this is the fake background check scam. Now, this one's really sneaky, and it's honestly one of the hardest ones to catch. Bazinga. So basically what they do here is you've aced the interview and they're ready to hire you, but all they need is some personal information for a background check. Sounds legit, right? Not so fast. While many companies do perform background checks, scammers use this as an opportunity to steal your personal information faster than you can say identity theft. Now here's how to protect your personal information. First of all, before you provide any personal information, verify the company's legitimacy. Make sure you do your due diligence. Then consider using a reputable identity protection service if you're actively job hunting. It's an extra layer of security. And if something feels off about the background check request, trust your instinct. Offer to get the background check done independently through a reputable service. Now let's move on to a scam that tries to get you to work for free because who doesn't love unpaid labor, right? Wrong. This is the unpaid trial work scam. <sighs> So here's a classic move from the scammer's playbook. We just need you to complete this project to see if you're a good fit. Sounds reasonable until you realize they're collecting free work with no intention of hiring anyone. While some legitimate companies may ask for samples or short tests, be wary of anything that looks like a full project without compensation. So anything that takes more than an hour or two is very likely a scam. So to avoid being taken advantage of, remember these key points. First of all, set clear boundaries on scope and duration of any trial work. Don't let them push you into doing more than you're comfortable with. All also, instead of unpaid work, ask for a paid trial period. It shows that you value your skills and time. Now, if a company insists on substantial unpaid work, consider it a red flag. It's often a sign they're trying to get free labor. And by the way, guys, if you have no idea what you wanna do with your life, check out my seven step guide to choosing your dream career, which I'll put down in the description and the pinned comment below. It's completely free and it's helped tons of people figure out what the best job for them is. And next we've got a scam that seems too good to be true because spoiler alert, it is, and that's the unsolicited job offer scam. So you're sitting there minding your own business when suddenly an amazing job opportunity lands in your inbox. It has high pay, flexible hours, and you don't even remember applying. Well, folks, I hate to break it to you, but unless you're a unicorn in your industry, companies aren't likely to offer you a dream job out of the blue. And here's how to handle these suspiciously good offers. First of all, be extremely cautious of unsolicited job offers, especially those that come via email or social media. Legitimate companies rarely recruit them 
this way. Now, if you're intrigued, do your homework, research the company thoroughly and try to contact them through official channels to verify the offer. And also never click on links or download attachments from unsolicited job offers. They could contain malware or lead to phishing sites. Because unfortunately, a lot of these scams actually blend together. In many cases, it's not just one scam or the other, it's many of them combined. Now, by the way, if you wanna know completely legitimate jobs that you can actually get into, I did make a video on seven legit data entry work from home jobs, and it did really well. People loved it. Lots of people have gotten jobs from it. And you can check that out by clicking right here.